What's good, everybody? Check this out, man. Um, I'm gonna go over this real. It's gonna be one of those quick videos, real quick, because I got things to do today. All right. Listen, I did a um, what was it? Yesterday, I did a uh, water pump on a um, 2.7 liter V6 engine on a Dodge Charger, a water pump. Uh, I don't know. Some of y'all might have already did one. Y'all know how difficult it is. It's not difficult to me anymore, but for the most part, it could be difficult for the average do it yourself -er. so I didn't get to film that procedure because it was actually too difficult I couldn't record it film it and do it at the same time but what I did film was the um, the last part which is the bleeding of the air uh, basically that's one of the critical parts of it to complete the job successfully so I got my uh, my yellow uh, funnel bleeder funnel kit you know I'm gonna link that below so y'all can purchase one if you want one that helps get all the air out of the system while you refilling the cooling system okay so again I did a uh, water pump on a 2.7 liter v6 engine now I didn't get to film it but I did get to film the bleeding procedure and I'm gonna go over that when I get back all right this car is equipped with a bleeder screw on the bleeder valve. So many of you worked on a 2.7 liter before, it has a bleeder valve in the center of the engine. You know, that transfer directs cooling to its different ports, which is very important. But none of that matters if the cooling system has air in it. So what we need to do is get the air out of the system. Now, that three eight bleeder screw on top of the bleeder valve you can use it to bleed the system or you can use the yellow bleeder funnel kit that I have and I'll link that below so what I'm gonna do is use both that way I have double coverage double protection so I'm gonna take my 3 8 screw put it on this my 3 8 wrench put it on the screw loosen the screw leave it loose and start filling your system up with coolant just fill it all the way up. Don't worry about the bubbles. That means you're actually removing the air out of the system as you fill it. So continue to fill it all the way up. You may need two two quarts of uh, ATL fluid. Fluid. Try to use the uh, five-year fluid Chrysler um, recommend. But uh, the aftermarket has some good cooling set up. It's already mixed, so you pretty much just uh, install it pre-mix it's already mixed so install that just keep pouring it in now keep an eye on your bleeder screw too so because when the fluid start to come out of that that means you actually pushed all the air out of the intake system so continue to bleed it don't worry about the bubbles continue to bleed it until the bubbles stop bleed it bleed it bleed it you get air you can see you starting to get air out of the bleeder valve now, it's okay to cap that off. So take your 3 8 wrench, turn that, tighten that up, cap that off. Now, we're dealing with the funnel issue now. So continue filling that up now. All right, keep an eye on your uh, reservoir also. Because if it's starting to get full, you know you have removed all the air out of the system. So you're pretty much where you want to be. So continue to fill it up. Don't worry about if you overfill the, the funnel because you can always save any excess funnel left over with the yellow cap off. Alright, fill it on up, fill it on up. Now, if you're done, if all the bubbles, if you're not bubbling anymore, you're pretty much done. You have re basically removed all the air out of the cooling system, which will allow proper heating, proper cooling circulation, and the overall cooling system will work as it's supposed to. Now again, I apologize for not being able to film the water pump installation. That's kind of difficult on this 2.7 liter engine, but I was able to talk about the bleeding procedure. That's all there is to it, guys. You got the air out of the system. Your heater should blow hot, especially after you just put an air uh, water pump on, because basically you need the water pump to circulate the coolant. That's the heart. You know, without the water pump, you get no coolant whatsoever. It pumps cooling through your radiator, through your heater core, all the way through those heater hoses and back to the water pump and it's just a vicious cycle. So you have a water pump on and if you're confident that your radiator is circulating like it's supposed to, you should be fine on if you're chasing heat, you know, if your heater don't work or anything like that. Or if you just had a leaking water pump and you had to replace it. I got a video coming up next week. I'm going to show you uh, uh, heater diagnostics. Heater diagnostics 
if your heater don't work, it's cold season right now. So if your heater not working, um, I'm going to show you some tips on how to find out why it's not working. You'd be surprised what's involved in heater operation. We pretty much take heating uh, for granted because we only need it you know, during certain parts of the year. So nobody never really worries about it until that time arrives. So I'm going to go over that with you on the next video. Again, thanks for watching. Man. I want to make this quick. And uh, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And uh, I'll see you on the next video.